So have you ever walked into a home, you've liked it, you can't really put your finger on why, but it just invokes all those emotions that says, I've got to have it. Well, guess what? It's the benefits, not the features, that are connecting with you in this emotional experience that buyers have when they walk in and go, aha, this is the one. So number one is aesthetics. And this is the appreciation of beauty in nature. What does it translate to for a buyer? These are the folks that like architectural form. They like the design, the interiors, the spatial components, the color, the color palette of a home, and they're attracted to the form and function. Number two is value. Look, they've got to see value at the price. Whether it's a $1 million home or a $20 million home, these buyers, it's all about the value. They've got to see value in the price that it's listed for. Number three is privacy. And this is being free from being observed or disturbed. So what does it mean for the buyer? Well, that means fences, hedges, no windows looking into the backyard or no windows looking into the home from next door. Could mean no neighbors in behind, more secluded. That's what is going to invoke the emotions in the buyer where privacy is important. Number four is health. And this is being free from illness or injury. Having that healthy lifestyle. What does that mean? Hey, in the COVID times, being close to walking areas, be able to go out mountain biking, maybe having that in-house gym or sauna or spa so that they can enjoy everything that makes them healthy and feel good. That's what's attracting that buyer. Number five is convenience. And this is the idea of being able to operate with very little difficulty or effort. So what does this mean? This means easy to get to the on-ramps for the freeway, close to schools for drop-off, walking distance to grocery stores, being close to medical facilities and hospitals. Number six, recreation. And these are the activities that you do when you're not working. Sports orientated, maybe close to soccer fields, out for that run, taking the dog for a walk, going hiking near the hiking trails, perhaps the gym being close, hopefully it's reopened. But those are the items recreation-wise that's gonna be important, close to the biking trails for those mountain bikers out there. So proximity to those items is key for the recreation important buyer. Number seven, economy. This is all about the budget. This is all about the bottom line. This buyer is interested in minimizing his budget. So this is a lower cost buyer. Even if he could afford more, he's budget conscious and wants to minimize the householding costs. So he's usually likely to purchase something that is less than the home he could actually afford. Number eight is safety. These people want to be protected from things that can cause injury or harm. Injury, for example, they want guard gated neighborhoods, they want fences, they want security systems, perhaps security lighting. Number nine, security. As to things, this is protection from danger or threats. They're likely to check the police records on neighborhoods. They want to know if they can leave their home unlocked. They want to know if they can leave their car on the driveway. They want to know that their things, their items are protected, perhaps is safe in the house for those items that are precious to them. Number 10, prestige. And this is widespread respect and admiration. This is the type of buyer who wants to say to his friends and family, look, I've arrived. That translates into grand entrances, car courts, big garage areas, two-storied volumes, circular staircases even, uh, large entryways, all that say to friends, family, and people that come over, look, look, I've arrived. I'm in this great mansion. Prestige is important to those people. Number 11, self actualization and this is the type of buyer that wants to fulfill their interests and talents to their full potential these are the writers the songwriters the poets the uh, creative uh, talent that wants to be free to maximize the experience in the home and that means courtyards open space well-lit areas perhaps nice big kitchens if they're into cooking those sort of spaces are going to attract the people for self-actualization. They want to feel like the environment is maximizing their potential to create. Number 12, comfort. 
They want to be physically at ease and relaxed. So what does this invoke? This is comfy big couches and dens and living rooms. This is areas where they can kick back, relax, watch the game on the TV without disturbance. And especially in this busy, busy time, they want to be able to just encompass the area, maybe hang out in a courtyard and just chill. Number 13, romance. This is all about love. These are the sort of buyers that want to have those spaces for those romantic dinners. Perhaps it's a nice, quiet, hot tub area where they can romance their better half. A nice balcony so they can enjoy the city views. And even in smaller places, that privacy so they can enjoy the intimacy with their partner and family. Number 14, entertainment. This is the feeling that they want to bring people into their home. They want a performance, an event. Perhaps they want to do dinners. So this is all about big kitchens, outdoor areas where people can circulate. And it's really more in the common areas. They want to have TV rooms. They want to have areas where they can set up outdoor bars, maybe barbecue areas. And that whole entertainment space has got to really work for them because guess what? They're having people over and they might invite you. So what's the takeaway on all of this? Well, yes, buyers are still looking for four bedroom, three bathroom, three car garage homes, but it's not for the reasons you think. They're trying to satisfy an inner need of want that's driven by one of these 14 benefits. So it's important to invoke all these benefits or as many as you can with quality video, photography and a staging so you can appeal to the inner buyer. Hey, I hope you found all of that uh, information valuable.